Needham football took care of business in the first round of the playoffs with a victory over Newton North. That set up a sectional semifinal against Catholic Memorial. Rockets and Knights met in the playoffs two years ago in West Roxbury, which CM won 25-6. This time the game took place right here in Needham, and it quickly turned into a high-scoring affair. One minute into this game, CM with a third down from the Needham 20-yard line. The Knights hand it off to Owen McGowan, who runs straight up the middle for a 20-yard TD and a 6-0 lead quickly. The Knights elect to go for the surprise onside kick after the score, score catching the Rockets off guard. That turns into another rushing TD. Jamal Griffin gets in from four yards out. Two-point conversion makes it 14-0. Needham hasn't even gotten the ball on offense yet. When they do, though, it takes them just one play to go 90 yards. Charlie Ogletree play action pass to Matt Smith, and he does the rest going all the way. Deficit cut in half. 14-7 is your score. Now we head to the second quarter early. Needham goes for it on fourth and one. Ogletree to Jack Mermis. The TE slips off a tackle and rumbles 48 yards for the tying score. Only catch of the game for Jack, and it was a big one. Late in the half, CM running a two-minute drill. Brian Stubbs Jr. comes up with a couple of big plays. First, takes a handoff and glides for a 24-yard run down near the 10-yard line. Then. Barrett Pratt looks his way in the end zone and Stubbs Jr. makes a diving catch that puts CM back on top. The teams go to halftime with the, Na with the Knights leading 21-14. Early in the third, Rockets find themselves back down by two scores. CM on the goal line, the pitch to Darius LeClaire for the TD, 28-14 Knights. Needham responds shortly after though, thanks to the return of the big play. Ogletree looks deep for Odari Hibberts, who beats his man and says, see ya. Touchdown Needham, 75 yards to the house. Big game for Ogletree, he threw for over 300 yards. Late in the third quarter, Ogletree gonna try to go back to Hibberts. This is a tough play and Hibberts can't quite haul in the pass. So Needham sends out the field goal unit. Kyle Gilman out there for the try and his boot from 37 yards out is good. Deficit down to four for the Rockets. Stays that way until about five minutes left in the game. Big third down for Needham. Ogletree flushed out of the pocket. He's going to be picked off, though, by Kyrie Johnson. That's the only turnover of the game for either team, and it comes at the worst possible time for Needham. Sure enough, Knights capitalize. Pratt silences the Needham crowd, takes it himself. 17 yards to the end zone, and another double-digit lead for CM. They go up 35-24. Rockets try to make things interesting late in the fourth. Ogletree to Smith for a TD with 30 seconds to go. Two-pointer makes it a three-point game. Smith, eight receptions, 185 yards, two TDs on the game. The ensuing onside kick attempt, though, does not go the necessary 10 yards in CM and just kneel on it. 35-32, the title hopes end for Needham as number three Catholic Memorial comes to Memorial Field, beating the Rockets. Needham will play a crossover game at BC High on Friday, November 9th before their Thanksgiving game with Wellesley. That game against the Eagles, by the way, is a slightly early kickoff at 6 p.m. The Needham field hockey team finished its regular season with a 14-4 record, including impressive late-season victories over Notre Dame Academy and Cohasset. The Rockets earned the number 8 seed in a loaded Division I South field. That set up a first-round matchup with Westwood in what turned out to be an instant classic. And lots of wind in this game. Ridiculous wind from Founders Field at DeFazio Park. In the first half, Rockets with a shot attempt. Eileen Manning. Though her shot is saved. About five minutes later, Westwood on the attack. Kayla Conway with a shot that's knocked away by Cammy Foster. About nine minutes into the game, the Wolverines get on the board. Jane Krumziak redirects the ball past Foster. 1-0 Westwood with the advantage. With about two minutes to go in the half. Lexi Schmalz with a shot that's tipped by Talia Barrett, but it's wide right. 1-0 your score at the half as Neum trails it. Second half, Rockets with a chance off a corner. Schmaltz fakes a shot. Kenzie Kelly actually takes it. A few Rockets tip it, but it's wide again. A minute later, off another corner, Callie Hem with the initial shot. A lot of traffic in front of the net. Needham, though, can't quite get one past the goalie. With 10 minutes to go in the game, however, Needham finally breaking through. Again, traffic in front of the net. Grace Kelly pokes it up and in for the equalizer. We've got a 1-1 game late in the second half. Late in regulation, Conway with a rebound shot for Westwood, but Foster says, you know what she's gonna say, you shall not pass. Then she knocks the ball away. We go to overtime, just seconds in. Rockets trying to end it. Kenzie Kelly 
The long pass is going to look for Schmaltz, but it's just out of her reach. So no score after 10 minutes. They go to a second OT. Less than a minute in, Schmaltz again with a shot that is saved. But Britt Naraki gets the rebound, feeds Schmaltz again. Another shot. This time, Lexi scores to end it. 2-1 the final in double overtime. Needham wins it to advance to the Division I South Section quarterfinals at number one, Walpole. Now also picking up wins during that first weekend of November with the girls and boys soccer teams. The girls upset number two seeded Bishop Fian by a score of 3-1, while the boys defeated Marshfield 1-0. Unfortunately, both teams would have their seasons ended in the next round by Natick and Wellesley, respectively. Field hockey dropped a close quarterfinal battle to Walpole 2-1. Rocket fans can still cheer on the cross-country teams who compete in the Division I East Championships during Veterans Day weekend at the Rentham Developmental Center.